Christopher Lacun started with one passion. Basically my whole life, you know, fishing, scuba diving. One, two, three, go! Over the years, he's added four more. I win! On July 12th, he was enjoying all of them. Boating and scuba diving with family and friends off the coast of Hutchinson Island. We were going from rock pile to rock pile and we saw a yellow buoy. The buoy marks three massive submerged structures, so large their silhouettes can be seen from high above. Did you have any idea what they were? Had no clue. I, it, it, it actually was amazing to, to see. Best friends since high school, Robert Blake and Christopher tied their boat to the buoy and dove in to check it out while their families stayed behind. Were there any warnings posted anywhere? Nowhere, there's no warnings whatsoever. Florida Power and Light says since the plant was built, the buoy has always read, stay back 100 feet. But both men claim there was no indication of danger until it was too late. And I swam right up to this big structure and it looks like a building underwater. Just all of a sudden I felt a little bit of current and all of a sudden I got a little quicker. I said, this ain't right, this ain't right. He just he got sucked in like a wet noodle. Was, he just gone. And what were you feeling at that point? I mean, when you saw him get pulled in. Uh, instant death. I, I saw my friend die. He surfaced in a panic. You just yell, Chris is gone. Chris is gone. Chris got sucked in. Brittany Lacun thought he was joking until she saw his face. All I remember doing was grabbing my son, holding him, crying and praying out loud. Did you think that he was gone? Yes. But deep beneath, Chris was holding on. It kind of felt like I got sucked over a waterfall and just instantly complete darkness. Just getting tumbled around and around. I'm trying to hang on to my mask and my regulator. I finally get a hold of my light and I'm trying to look around. As far as you can